Cut remand Singaliu Frosh in Ikoyi prison till March 2021. Where's my daddy? That's my friend. What's his name? Kachi. In my own opinion, Ozo shouldn't have accepted this couple Biti Bao. Ah ah. Hey homie, welcome back to my channel. How is it wasn't happening? My name is Omi Odige and this is Talk to Your Homie TV, my darling here. I love to give away sweets and juices and today I have got this for you. It has been raining deals upon deals upon deals of people in Nigeria locked down housemates, Manengi, Yanuzo, and Tricky. Oh, Tricky. Uh, if you have not seen the interview I did with Tricky, are you a missing man? He was so real, open about the housemates, about his life, where he has gotten to right now, his financial status, everything really. I'll put the link to that video down below. Go and check it out. So yeah, tricky prints, deals up on deals, my darling. We also have the not so good one, like Rosie. Oh my gosh, guys. <sighs> I bring you this heart wrenching video that I saw of Rosie and her son talking about Kachi. We talk about that, my darling. And guys, hey, there's one know about this David Doe's new signee, Lil Frosh. I don't even understand what's happening between Ozo and Messi's fans. They are dragging each other. Ah, guys, today just is hot and sweet. So just please subscribe to my channel because. Ah, this is where the cheese goes down. And one more thing, I really would like us to improve on our thumbs up. I will appreciate it. You just give me more thumbs up. More, just make sure you thumbs up this video. I will appreciate it. You get me? And let's begin gisting. Let me begin first of all with this David's new signee, Liu Froch. Now see it. Yeah. Late last year, gist came out. Was it late last year or maybe mid last year? Gist came out that Liu Froch was abusing his girlfriend, domestically beating her up and saying, "Well, the gist leaks here. Yeah, his record label, DMW, David O Music World, yeah. They put out a statement that they were washing their hands off him and all that. But after a while, they said to relate with him again because I mean." He was obviously denying the fact that he did anything to the girlfriend, even though the girl came with proof and saying he was saying no, he did not do anything to the girlfriend. You get me until this year. Ha guys, he just dropped a hit to this little fresh musician guy. But the girl took him to court. And now the court has remanded him to be in prison till March this year i'm like we what now nigerian singer Liu froge has been reprimanded at ikoyi correctional center till march 9 2021 over the alleged assault of his ex-girlfriend gift camille recall that the former dmw signee was called out by camille's manager after he assaulted her to the extent that she was left with bruises and a swollen face. According to the manager with Twitter handle at Mayorks Michael, Leo Frosch has been physically abusing his sister for about a year and has brought nothing but pain, horror, and disaster to her. He stated that the artist would lock her up in a room, beat her to pulp, then pour water on her. Further adding that he would sometimes record a video of her naked and threaten to post it online. Gift in a post shared on her Instagram page also alleged that she had been in a relationship with the musician since January 2020. And that anytime they had a disagreement, he would violently attack her, leaving her with serious bodily injuries. However, a suit against Liu Froch was filed before the Lagos State Magistrate Court in Yaba with the help of International Association of Women Lawyers, Lagos State Branch. At the hearing on Tuesday, February 9th, the Presiding judge magistrate Adiola Olatumbosu adjourned the case till March 9, 2021, and ordered that the singer be remanded at the Ikoyi Correctional Center. Different tweets have been going on, different things. I'll just say that I feel bad for him because he just dropped a hit. He's at the peak of his career. Not even at the peak, he's just, he's just entering into the, 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 the space here. But I would like this to sound like a warning or sound a warning in all sincerity to anybody who does it. Control your temper. Everybody can push you to the wall. I've been in a relationship myself where like, I saw a side of me that I have never seen before. It's very good to just step away, give it space. When I saw that I was shouting in a way that I'm like, that's, that's not Omi. The next day I left the guy's house. I went to start, stay with a friend. I had to just leave the environment because I needed to catch myself. Like I was wondering like, what came over me? I had to leave and speak to myself, calm myself down. We met outside, we reconciled outside and I, you know, so you need to just understand who you are 
and control your temper like no matter how angry you are don't get to the point where you're hitting somebody like no it's not that serious one two you're not married to her even if you're married to her like she's a human being like you she has brains talk to her if you feel like it's too much take a break that's how i may see it too. maybe if you're saying something to the person so let's say you're communicating to somebody but you feel that the person does not understand what you're saying perfect get someone to talk me i'm pro therapy seek for help outside let somebody come and speak don't want to, to handle it by yourself Ugh, then you start to be like that's please man so me i i I mean, I feel bad for him, but I'm also happy because I feel like, I mean, let it just serve like a warning to anybody who does it. Relax. Nobody came to this world to be a punching bag. Yeah, man. Don't put your mouth in the matter. We're still waiting to your match that's next month to see what's going to happen. But yeah, what do you think about the matter? Are you happy about how things are going now? Do you think, oh no, like it's too much of a, like it's too, it's too much of a harsh decision to take on him? What's your opinion? Please talk about it in the comment section, my darling. <sighs> Next is Rosie. Rosie of Ultimate Love. She was on live on Instagram with her son Jeremy. And they were having a conversation about Kachi. Not just Kachi. The boy was asking about his father, his daddy, that is his friend, that is Kachi. I don't even understand how to take this video. The video was just very heart wrenching. Just watch this video and just and let's talk. Where's my daddy? That's my friend. Who's your daddy? That's your friend. That's daddy I saw yesterday. <laughs> That's my friend. What's his name? Kachi. I don't know where he is. Did he went to Rico? No. He's in Abuja. Abuja? Mm. But, but he's not your daddy anymore. I told you. He should be in court. He should be in court. <laughs> Uh -huh. Not nice. <laughs> he's yeah. not your daddy, but he's your friend. Mommy, hmm? can we see what is in Kachi? So you still call Kachi your friend? I want to talk to my daddy. I told you he's not your daddy. I want to talk to my friend. You know you're a sweet child. Uh -huh. I've told you that she's not your daddy. Don't say that again. Did you hear me? Okay. Men guys, now people were on because I, I put the video on my Instagram page here. Yeah? And people were in the comment section saying different things. It's a game she's playing. Why did she even post it online? I'm like, it's a live video, it was recording. Some people were like, eh, why didn't she cut the video? Immediately the guy talked about Kachi. If she had cut the video where the guy mentioned Kachi, they would say, Ah, Rosie doesn't want to leave Kachi alone. No, for the boy to call Kachi's name means that in the house they discuss Kachi. Do you understand? And then that's even commenters. Let's now wear empathic heart. For the guy to ask this question when they're on live, obviously, he asks this question on a regular. Obviously, when they are together, he's always asking the question because he wasn't like he was doctor that he was planned. They were on life. The guy's asking, Let's call. That means they were calling people before, Let's call that, that my friend, daddy. Like, Ha ah, man, I don't even know. See this Rosie and Kachi matter, yeah? Just put your mouth in the matter. Cause me, my own heart was broken. Because I heard that before they got out of the house, they had trained the son to call Kachi daddy. So when the show was still on and it looked like they were going to like date or marry, Rosie's father had already or family had already been training him. Oh yeah, this is your daddy. So from the show back on, the Jeremy boy has been looking at the TV calling Kachi daddy. Do you get what I'm saying? Amen. Oh, it's just a lot, man. I don't even know. Single moms, mm? my heart reaches out to you. It's not easy. But let me just say, like, if there's any single mother out there, no matter how, uh, like, angry and hurt the father of the child made you feel, just try and allow your child, yeah, have a connection, relationship with his father. Because at the end of the day, it is the son that, or the child, son, daughter, whoever, is a child that will hurt these questions, you know, they will be asking him, ah, oh, you get me? No matter how the man made you angry, just know that if there's this child in, and I'm saying this out of experience, you get me? Because someone dear to my heart is, if, just know that since you have brought a child to the world, it's no longer just about you. It's now about the child. Do you get me? 
Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. But what's your opinion? Shall talk about this in the comment section, my darling. Next, this is now the baby Niger housemate and the deals they have been getting. Let's begin with Tricky T, my man. Tricky T signed a deal with a skincare company called the House of Skincare Guru. Uh, so best believe our man Tricky T is about to be shining and glowing all up in our faces, eh? And of course money has entered the bag so he's bagging the deals big ups to tricky T. that's not even a joke next oh is erica erica is now the brand ambassador of kuda bank <laughs> kuda bank bank money millions girls getting money for anybody who is following me on my Instagram page, I told you guys in a, in a video that I'm not going to be discussing Erica's gist on my Instagram. I'll be discussing it on my YouTube because no matter how I... If, if, if I cut this clip now, talk about how Erica signed a deal and I put it on Instagram, her fans will still go and comment on me. See how you talked about it. You may, They will find... I don't know. They will still find something to come and... Uh, so I said I beg. Let's discuss it on YouTube and be happy for her because me, I like the Erica girl. I don't know, I don't know what her fans PR. Last video I put about Erica and signing deals was um Swarovski. I talked about how it was a jewelry company. They make jewelry, pearls, you know, gold, diamonds. I picked that up. Guys, the comment section, they were telling me that me, see how I downplayed it. Uh, why am I talking about her in the first place? Oh yeah, she signed Kuda Bank. I did not talk about it though. They still went to my comment DM that me, I hate Erica. I'm just like, man, yo. So if you follow me on Instagram, I beg, just listen. Erica is just to be discussed on YouTube alone. So big up Erica. Could have banged millions in her bag. Are y'all joking? Next person is Prince. He's a brand ambassador for a luxury interior designing company. Almost this people here, they are called the Venue Interiors. Yeah. And their specialty is to come and pimp your house. You get me? Prince just bagged another millions in his bag. Big up Prince in the comment section, my darling. Also, also signed a partnership deal with a fashion company 1403 luxury even the advert video said they bust my head I, I see how it's looking so fresh and so clean and so eh i want millions in ozo's bag my big ups ozo now finally let's enter into this ozo and messages now see here this is where i'm just like fans need to pump their brakes because see you techno wants to host ozo and messi you know that it's millions of naira that have entered the bag. So it's like a Valentine's Day pee. You're like, come and hang out with your celebrities. And fans in like a chat group are getting angry, insulting the brand. That what is this? Why are they calling Messi? What kind of... I'm just like, what? They're actually Ozone fans. So that's like um, Ozone and Nengis fans. Amazing, but see what happened now. So the deal is Techno is hosting this Techno Blue Valentine two million naira couple anniversary sponsorship and hangout with Ozo and Messi. Guys, now see fans are now coming here to come at this. This is rubbish. LOL, calm down there. That one now says, eh, they should enjoy their hangout, Joe. This thing is annoying. They will drag my innocent boy soon. I'll be God won't punish Techno ni. This brand self, them no get respect. Don't mind them. Uh -uh. In my own opinion, Ozo shouldn't have accepted this couple, Bitty Bao. Uh -uh. I know, I understand. You're a fan because you love your favorite. You get me? I told you guys, Ozo, yeah, big ups, y'all. You guys are the strongest shippers I ever lived. I know you want them to marry, but wait, 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 too. You know, see your Nengi girl. Nengi is high maintenance. They don't follow that kind of girl without money in their pocket. So allow Ozo bag his money. Yo. Allow him bag the money. Ozo and Messi have been signed to different deals, like together. And Messi has a crowd. That's why the brand are calling Messi up. And Ozo has a, has his crowd. And there's money to be made. See, that they hang out on Valentine's Day is not even going to take two hours. Why are fans not even... Y'all, calm down. Where you fight with your heart, also wear the thinking cap. And let's, let's, let's heart me thought. Let's, you get me? Because also he's got to get the money so that he can, you know, keep making Nengi happy. Love is sweet, you get me? I know, yeah, but y'all, calm down. Let him get his mula. That he spends two hours. He's not even going to be kissing 
Messi, no. It's just going to be days like a miss and he's like, hang out. That was all we here. Messi will be here. That's all. You get me? Nothing's going to happen. And two hours after the start and end of the show, I was just going to go back to Nengi and buy her, you know, all the Valentine things ever. You get you okay what I'm saying? That's my take, Shad. What's your opinion? Did they call me? No. Doesn't make any sense. That was too much. <laughs> I want to hear what you have to say about the matter in the comment section. Am I darling? Finally, guys, I'm losing my hair. Hmm. If you watch my vlog, you will know why I'm happy about carrying my natural hair. You will know why. And if you don't know, I have a vlog channel. It's called Talk to Your Homie Vlogs, my darling. There, I show you my life behind the scene. Like behind this camera thing, what I do with myself, how I, you know, how I, how I pull up, how I get me, how I flex and things. So I'll put the link to that um, vlog channel down below. It is only on YouTube, Talk to Your Homie Vlogs. Please go there, watch my video, subscribe to my channel. I just dropped a new video on my brand channel. If you are a small business owner, blogger, content creator, go to the brand contact. See there, guys, there. I have videos on how to create vision and mission that works for your company, that really works. As in, if your plan is to have a business that can grow, that can last more than one year, two years, three years, eh? Just go to that video, really. Go, I'll put the link to that video down below. It's the brand contacts. Go there, watch it, and get wisdom again. And also, I have a podcast called Pennywise. There we discuss questions. You see, when you have questions that nobody has answers to, before you get into depression, get confused, why your life stuck, why you're not moving forward, they are... They are answers and secrets to living a successful happy you know fulfilled life that you don't know that i know and i'm giving you guys for free it's called penny but i'll put the link again down below we are also on all podcast platform you know please just go to pennywise and watch yeah i love you i mean you know i love you you know i love you have a good time bye